Hello, hello, welcome back. And if this is your first time stopping by, I'm Lady Pavo, also known as Luna Lamonte. And today I wanted to bring you another story time about my personal experience with shadow people or what I like to call shadow beings. This particular encounter took place in Dutchess County, New York, located in a small city called Beacon. This is where I grew up and I was about 15 or 16 years old. Me and my high school sweetheart were getting off the bus. We were coming back from the Poughkeepsie Galleria for anybody who is familiar with that area. And we were walking on a street that I used to live on called Cedar Street. For my Beaconites out there, that is the street that is directly behind the Beacon Library. So it was October. So around seven or eight o'clock at night. So you already know in New York, around fall, winter, it gets super dark after four o'clock. I remember the exact day of the week because in in the area that I lived in, garbage day was on a Thursday. So every Wednesday night, all of my neighbors that lived in the houses on my street would pull their garbage cans to the end of the sidewalk for early pickup when the garbage men came through on Thursday around four or five o'clock in the morning. So we're walking towards my parents' house. And in the distance, we're about two houses down from my parents' house at this point. In the distance, next to my neighbor's house on the corner, right before my house, I see behind the green plastic garbage can, a man hunched over peering on the side of the garbage cans and I remember feeling like my eyes were playing tricks on me but it was really hard to mistake in seeing a silhouette of a person's head peering on the side of this green garbage can and as soon as I realized that my eyes were not playing tricks on me that what I was seeing was exactly what I saw in the matter of seconds, this person stands up. And this man was about six feet tall, completely black. I'm not talking about brown skin, I'm talking about completely black, like darker than nighttime. And had absolutely no face expression, just a silhouette of a six foot tall human and in an instance i realized that this was not a person that this was a shadow being and as soon as my body went into the state of shock this shadow person bolted full speed in my direction towards me and i go into a complete panic i start hysterically screaming oh my god oh my god this in in a matter of seconds this shadow person smacks right into me and i remember from head to toe i got this chilling cold feeling that went through my entire body it was like my nerves went through a power surge and all of the hairs on the back of my neck my back and my arms was standing up and I remember freaking out. And I looked over at my high school sweetheart and at this point he had moved away from me and he was staring at me like I had seven heads. And he was just like, are you all right? He wasn't a person of much words. He was always very quiet. And I just remember me asking him, did you see that? Did you see what I saw? And he was just like, no. 
what did you see? And I immediately started crying because I felt like I was going crazy. I felt alone. I felt misunderstood. I didn't know at the time how to describe what I saw. I haven't explained the shadow toddler that I encountered in previous a previous year from that from this current situation that I was experiencing I always kind of kept that to myself so it was just so freaky to experience it with someone standing right next to me and them not being able to understand what I saw so I remember we walked to my house which was only directly across the street from where this incident took place and once we got inside I just remember trying to explain what I saw and my high school sweetheart at this time had nothing to really say other than I didn't see that so anywho that is the end of my story with my second encounter with shadow people or shadow beings if you know what folklore or legend this may apply to, please don't hesitate to drop it down below in the description box. Please don't hesitate to share your stories with me. These are spooky stories I shared on a podcast called Monsters Among Us many moons ago. And uh, I wanted to take some time to get into detail and unfold exactly what happened on my own platform. But yeah, that's it. And I will share with you guys some other encounters. I have quite a few in this lifetime. I hope you've enjoyed the story. I look forward to connecting with you. We are divinely connected. Until next time, peace.